Good morning from Japan. My name is Brenya Panprung Sanon on behalf of my research team, Motoki Miyoshi, Daisuke Iwai, and Kosuke Sato from Oscar University. It is really great to be here to present the paper called Soft Print, Investigating Haptic Softness Perceptions of 3D Printed Soft Object in FDM 3D Printers. And this is my first time for printing for publications and into these communities. First of all, let me clarify that this paper is about the softness perceptions or perceived softness of 3D printed object. We would like you to forget everything about the mechanical softness, which usually measured by the measurement tools such as the durometer and so on. When we talk about the softness or the perception aspect, it is one of the haptic sensations that allow the user to discriminate between different types of material or qualities of the object. Therefore, such haptic sensations are essential and important process, especially to the personal fabrication. Several commercial products usually combine several material together to create a different softness sensation of the product to ensure the luxury, the functional, or even the safety purpose. For example, the car industrial might need to design the dashboard that being safe for the user so that it look great and look hard enough but at the same time they have to grant the interactions expect or expect um, expect of interaction experience that to require the dashboard to be soft when the user touch it tackle to this aspect in the perception angle here we study in the psychophysical interactions and what materials and the computer graphics have been uh, put together to investigate the haptic perception in digital fabrication. <clears throat> For example, Hims et al. presents the loveness model of the 3D printed object that would allow to predict the loveness perceptions when printing with the surface texture with the difference pattern. We obtained the roughness parameters from this paper to apply in our proposed method. Hiroshi et al. Um, present the elastic model based on the generated of the mechanical um, meta material to change the softness of the 2D printed object. So by changing the amounts and the angle of the meta material, it would be allowed to create a different type of softness from soft to stiff and from stiff to more hard. <clears throat> and finally, the work from Torres et al. which present the interactive method that changed the weight of the 3D printed object based on the optimizations of the infused chamber and additional material. While the previous work already explore in this area of the haptics perceptions, especially in the digital fabrication, it is heavily contributed to the advanced printing technologies such as the um, inkjet-based 3D printing, um, and therefore, they have only field number of the haptic perception study in the FDM printing technologies, which is useful for the personal fabrications later than the industrial or um, commercialized one. In our work, we would like to investigate whether um, we can modify the perceived softness of the 3 printed objects without changing the printing material. For example, by printing the different type of the Shaw A material, that would be give a different type of softness with the same thermoplastic polyethylene filaments or TPU. <clears throat> Looking into this goal, we start from the relationship between the roughness and the softness perception, which is slightly discussed in the previous work from Dong et al. in his 2019 paper. In his work, he found that the contact area would play as an important role um, that affects the perceived softness and perceived roughness. So as you can see from this figure on the left side, the sparser contact area are the most softness that participants can perceive from the experiment due to the contact area is great enough to interact with the user hand. And based on the previous work, we report the system that would allow the user to decide their perceived softness and loudness as an input for the 3D printing. Then the system could de determine the 2D printing parameter 
such as infill and the surface texture, according to the target haptics preference and the printed out using the 3D printer. We refer to parameters surface texture and the infill patterns as pins and slab. The user actually interacts with the object from the pin side and then the object is suppressed to the slab. Our investigation separated into two steps. First, we investigate the base slab that giving the software's perceptions that would allow the wireless range of uh, the softness perception. And then use the slab in the first experiment to investigate the perceived softness and loudness when combined with the difference um, density of the pin. In both experiments, we use the magnitude estimation method to estimate the perceived softness. The magnitude estimation method is the method that used to compare the perceived the perceptions of two objects. Which one is your reference? And another one is the stimuli, which is the target object that we would like to measure. In our case, we prepare the standard elastic material in the same dimensions as our objects, and we call it as the reference. The participants were instructed to indicate the softness value as less than 100 if the stimulus was softer than the reference. Otherwise, they should indicate it's more than 100. And to reduce the bias and other factors that affect the human perception, all the experiments are done in the translucent chamber so that the user cannot clearly see what is the object is looked like. And they were asked to push about 15 newtons, and that is measured by the sound um, if they press too hard or too light. By using the force sensor attached under the, um, the reference and stimuli. The comparison was done one by one between reference and e stimuli. We prepare nine standard slab for FDM3 printer, including cubic, light, octet, concentric, grid, cross, triangle, triangle hexagon, and the zigzag. Each trail lasts for about 15 minutes and two trail for each comparison. And for more details, please see your paper. Based on trivial participants, we felt that the consensus slab provided the softest perceptions compared to those of auto infill patterns. And from this experiment results, we move forward to the second experiment that we combine the pin and infill structure or slab that obtained from the first experiment. The procedure are the same within the first experiment, but at this time we used five types of um, different density of the pin obtained from the previous work on the loudness perception. Why we fix the infill structure to the concentric and vary the amount of the infill. Before moving to the experimental results, let me briefly introduce the parameters we use for the pin. Um, as mentioned in the previous slide, we created random pins that adapting the distance between each pin by using the setup parameter from the previous loudness model proposed by teams at all in 2018. The selected pin including 1.25, 1.06, 1.93, 1.87, and 1.68 millimeters. The largest number shows the sparser of the pin R, as you can see from the figure. And for the results, first we look at the infill density aspect, which we found that the relationship between the softness perceptions and 5% to 10% infills um, density, but relationship are not significant difference in the case of 15, 20, and 25 infill. This means that we can alter the perceived softness with the range of 5% to 10% infill. And then we look at to the aspect of combining the pins to alter the softness perception. We found that the sparser pins could provide more soft perception compared to the dense pins due to the surface contact area. And for more details, keep looking for a paper. Finally, we derived the combination models that would allow to estimate the 3D printing parameter based on the target softness perception. Our model will allow the user to input the target softness and the system estimate the pin's parameter and infill ratio to generate the target perceived softness based on the user requirement. Of course, our works come with some limitations. 
For example, the density of the pins are relied on the inkjet-based 3D printing, which then limited the compatible density that applied for the FDM 3D printer. To solving this issue, we would like to extend um, our range of um, pin based on the 3D um, based on the FDM 3D printer directly instead of obtaining it from another another type of the 3D printer. Also, since our selected infill patterns does not have the structure that connect between the shell and the infill, the forces applied to the objects less than 15 newtons cannot apply with our computational model. And in conclusions, this paper presents the techniques to alter the desired softness and loudness perceptions of the, um, of the printed surface using the FDM3 printer. Our results will help user and designer to manipulate both haptic softness and loudness perceptions of their target printed object. Our combination model asymmetry the printing parameter to extend the wide range of the infused structure to present different softness sensation. And finally, uh, we plan to put all the data and the sample tests that you can print at home on our project website that's shown in this slide soon after the conference is done because we have to prepare it. And this is all of my presentations. And thank you for your listening.